first room we come to is the living room. Spacious with a world map on the wall with some desks that can be adjustable for either standing or sitting height. So we come to a combination dining room and kitchen. The dishwasher does stay. It is a high quality Miele dishwasher. The range does not stay. The refrigerator does stay. Out the newly replaced double pane glass windows, we have the backyard, spacious open yard with a shed, as well as a wash line. Back the hall, we have restroom, two sinks, two cupboards, shower with dual shower heads, closet, two bedrooms, Another bedroom, closet, finished basement, have a panel and a sub panel with a 200 amp service. Coal stove does have a small leak, but other than that, it is uh, working. Utility room, the washer and dryer are not staying. Uh, it is a heat pump water heater that does stay, an 80 gallon heat pump water heater. It's very efficient, has a Connecticut water system. as well as a reverse osmosis system. Coal cellar, if you choose to heat with coal. No entrance to the outside though. Also have an active radon system to reduce radon in the basement. And that we have tested that, the radon levels are acceptable after that system is installed. The system for keeping the basement dry. There is a drain around the perimeter with a sump pump that has done very well at keeping the house, the basement dry. Only issue where we did have a little bit of moisture is this back corner. Seems that the spouting needs a little bit of work. So we did have a little bit of moisture. We repaired the drywall, but the spouting does need some work in order to just keep that from coming in again. Room that you, with a closet that you can use as an office. A fake window to the outside. Got some decorations on the wall, kind of a sea theme in this room. Heading back upstairs. Almost all the house is heated and cooled with smart mini split units that were recently installed. They're the Daikin brand, very high quality, long lasting. Upstairs, two additional bedrooms and a bathroom. A 
this bathroom could use some updating but it's not so it's not been it's not been heavily used but it could use some updating pretty large bedroom on this side two windows nice size closet sea theme here with fish on the wall painted not that long ago the other bedroom we just used for storage so it's not been updated in a while but it could be um, could be another bedroom for a fourth bedroom and that wraps up the tour of the house finishing up just the things that will be staying you got the map on the wall the shed out back the play set and the dog kennel will not be staying but again the dishwasher and the refrigerator are staying but the range is not staying quick peek in the garage mostly storage there at the moment double pane windows recently replaced front door has a Yale smart deadbolt lock that can be locked and unlocked remotely apple trees The shed does have electricity and two separate spaces. One is completely weather tight for storage. The other is great for storing lawnmowers, bikes, things like that. It does have a loft up top. As you can see, it has lights in it and a roll up overhead door. There's an additional door back this side. Also with the loft. And this one has no roof vent so that it's completely weather tight for whatever you might like to store. Also some bamboo. Section of wood chips. This section grows meadow tea. Tree in the corner is a dawn redwood tree. We have the raised beds that grow, have great soil for growing uh, crops in the summertime. 